Oh. <laughs> I'll go turn back on the lights. Hello. Hello. Lights. There it are. Hey guys, this is Dylan Layson Hunter, and I am back after a long, long break. I was sick, my wife has been sick, just kind of in that, uh, that time of the year where, you know, you're just trying to get everything back on schedule after all of the, the holiday stuff and everything else, and uh, just been kind of busy. So today, I'm at the range, and I am currently going to be working on my release, okay? It's got a give myself something to shoot at, you know? I don't care if it's gonna be high or low, but at least it'll cause me to not hit my arrows. So that's the, the whole goal. Those aren't even the same size. Basically, one of the problems I've been running into is that whenever I'm using my index uh, release, one of the problems I have is that I take and I'm not fully putting my finger all the way over. I am just hitting it and I am just punching that trigger and I'm trying really, really hard not to. I'm also really trying to work on my anchor points and things like that. Uh, and so for the past like two weeks, even while I've been sick, like I've had a piece of paracord and I've wrapped around it, I put it on and I've just been working on squeezing through and actually letting the release do the work, not me, you know, yanking and pulling it through. The reason why you don't want to punch the trigger is as you do that, you're just going to throw off your shot. You're just basically hitting it. And you're gonna have that little bit of jerk. And I, that's one of the problems that what I'd have is I'd take, I'd be feeling really good. I think I'd be on it and I'd basically punch that trigger and it would just not fly straight. You know, I'd be really high or left or right or whatnot or whatever I'd do to do that. So basically what I've been working on is just getting there and squeezing how I'm supposed to. I've shortened up my release. A lot of you have been saying, hey, shorten up that release. And luckily I have a release that I can do that. This is the uh, B3 claw. I've done a video on this in the past. Uh, but I've shortened it basically as far as I possibly, or as short as I possibly could, because that will allow it just to sit right where it needs to and I can pull through. I honestly might even need to go just a hair forward. But for right now, this is going to do the trick. So we're gonna try that. Basically, I'm gonna have the, the, the camera pointed right next to my face for a couple seconds, and I'm gonna pull, or I'm gonna show the difference between hitting it the way I've been doing it and actually pulling through. And I hope there's gonna be a difference. I'm hoping by the end of this day, I'm gonna be able to take and just nice and gently pull through. And hopefully that's also gonna help with like target panic and all these other things. There's a lot of pros that will come from squeezing through the trigger just nice and slow. So I'm just gonna take the camera and I'm gonna set it up about 10 yards, gonna grab my bow, and uh, we're just gonna take and hopefully be able to watch and see if I'm actually using my trigger correctly. I, I really wanna work hard on this because this is gonna be a huge like improvement if I can get this down, if I'm still gonna to continue to use my index finger release. So here we are, have the bow, still using the Bear Resurgence. Love this bow, it has been so good. I love shooting it. And also, one of the things I've actually been doing, oh, I need to replace the knock on that guy. Uh, my fletching, some of it actually got a little bit broken. So I changed it to this NAP, still that little quick fletch stuff. Uh, but I have been using kind of more like these tack veins. I think that's what they're, supposed to resemble, but they're supposed to have a little bit more of a helical to it, supposed to spin a little bit faster. Uh, so far they've worked pretty decent. I like them, but I just want to test out a couple things. Uh, and here in the next little bit, I'm going to increase the pounder of my bow and I'll get some new arrows. And I actually want to take and potentially make some custom arrows with bud at downwind. So those videos are in the works, uh, but for right now, until I can get some new arrows. I just kind of really like testing out these little uh, quick fletches because they're really fast, really easy to just throw on and have another video on those. Uh, but yeah, these ones are just a little bit different and I kind of really like them. So yeah, let's just practice. Also, I think my form's getting a little bit better. I just need to take and really, you know, 
bring it down, I'm getting a lot more smooth with it. So I really do like that. So I'm going to cut in here really fast. Uh, I've gone through and started watching the, the video and there's one thing that I think would be really helpful to me. As you're watching these shots, there's going to be a number in the top corner uh, for my, each pull through. If you can take and say, hey, this is a really good shot or hey, this was a really bad shot, I would appreciate it. I, I think it's just a really cool way for you to say, hey, if you do that, that'll be really good. Or if you do this, you'll probably find a lot of problems. So yeah, just wanna add this in here. Uh, hope you enjoy the video and just let me know what you think of the shots. So back to the range. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the camera. I'm gonna show you what I used to do. Uh, so when I'd have my, my bow, I take and I pull it back. And right when I'd get the anchor point, I'd have my finger just barely right here. And as soon as I'd get right where I wanted it to, and then I've been really working on it, so I might even not have done it correctly. If I take and I jerk it. This time I'm really trying to work on smooth, kind of hold it and then squeeze through. But let's review. So here. I think that felt better. Felt pretty good. again. Oh no. Let's review. Let's look at the camera. Okay. So didn't look too bad. Uh, still looks like I need to take and just really pull through. Still kind of looks like I'm trying to take and race through it. So let's try it again. But I will say that my, my finger is actually right where it needs to be a lot more in the center of that. It's a, it's a work in progress, you know, I'm not expecting this to be a fast, you know, process for me to get better at this. But I will say it will be nice to actually get it down. I feel like I might still be taking and jumping the trigger just a little bit. That last one actually felt pretty good. I'm gonna review it, look, see. That last one, I actually felt like I kind of had rest of my finger there. And as I pulled through, it kind of felt like it was actually like doing what it was supposed to. And it's, I mean, the one thing about this trigger is that, so if I'm actually gonna take and go, it actually has, and actually has a little bit of movement before it actually engages. And so that's, that's why if I'm going to potentially, you know, hunt this year, and well, there's no potential I am going to hunt this year. Uh, I might want to look into like a trigger uh, that actually has like a little bit more like tension because, or a little bit more of like a tension control. Because here's what I'm doing is I'm here, and I start to move and I, I really just need to like focus on pulling out of it. That's, that's what I need to be doing. So yeah, that last one, it actually felt pretty dang good. What I'm also gonna do is I might put like some golf tees in it and hold it on that golf tee and squeeze and pull through. So maybe that will help, we'll find out. And like, I am not far from this. Like, I hope that I can hit a golf tee, but like I said, today I just really wanna work on pulling through 
my shot and getting better with it and see. So, how's that look? I feel like I'm a little far away. Here we go. That one felt not too bad. Can't. I almost hit that golf tee. I just need to hold it there and really just kind of pull, pull through. I kind of punched the trigger on that one, felt it. Last arrow. Slightly off, but not bad. Yeah. I think something like a spot hog or B3 has another release or true fire. I might look into some uh, other releases maybe at another point in time. I really do like this B3 claw. It is super nice. But like I said, it would be nice to have that, that much finer, finer. If not, I just really need to work on squeezing through it, you know, and really come back. So it's a lot of work. But the most important thing is like, I'm still having fun with this. Like, no matter how much work it is, like this process of learning and shooting and doing all that, it is so rewarding. Just practice, practice, practice. That felt pretty good. Oh. Huh. I'll go turn back on the lights. Hello. Hello. Lights. There they are. That was fun. Had to walk clear to the back of the, the range and turn on. Okay. That one felt really good. And I actually broke a T. So that is pretty dang good. Really just that light squeeze through. Ooh, almost did it again. Yeah, broke a golf tee. That's Let's go to show you. Let me pull this off the tripod. I mean, this is, I mean, it's so close. So this is the first shot, not too bad. Slightly nicked it. So the second one was not this broken when I first did it. So here's the second one. Here's the third one, a little high, kind of a little bit of a pull through. <laughs> but <coughs> I mean, it's working. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more confident with it. And I think that's the big thing too, is like you got two that were super dang good pull through shots. Uh, that's what I want. I don't want to just yank it. I really want to take and hit right where it needs to be. So we're getting there slowly, but surely, slowly, but surely go. Oh, let me kind of adjust this just a little bit. Right about there. Perfect. Also, what do you think of this new beanie? My wife got this for me. It's very nice. I am, as it says, an outdoor enthusiast. So, she picked right. Okay, here we go. Nice pull through.
Super close. Super dang close. It's like right next to it. Oh. <sighs> Also, shooting three arrows, definitely, like, I want to be shooting more, but I really want to work on building up two more. Like, today I'll shoot three, maybe tomorrow I'll shoot five, or maybe I'll shoot three, holding longer. But, yeah. It's a lot of things i got to work on, you know? Well, those ones pretty good so I feel a little more confident maybe I'll move back to the 20 and try it I'm coming to league night tonight and uh, they have a bottle cap challenge where at the very end uh, we take and shoot and if you can hit a bottle cap then you get a bigger pot money so there's a bottle cap right down there that I'm gonna try and practice shooting. Let me move this up just a little bit. Ooh. There we are. There's a bottle cap right down there that I'm going to try and shoot and see if I can hit. Also, I'm gonna, to... right there. Okay. Let's see if I can take and hit that bottle cap. Here we go. 20 yards. Oh, that's nice. Close. Huh. There it is. A little bit tougher to aim in pitch dark, so uh, good thing I won't be hunting in pitch dark ever. Okay. A little low of it. Okay. That was nice. Actually, I think I just barely, I'm hitting it, I'm just low of it, which is a good sign. Oh, this one, I need to put a the correct knock on it before I can shoot that one. Well, if I shoot like that tonight, that'll be awesome because uh, that's two for two on hitting the bottle cap. So I'm at my last couple shots of the day. I'm currently at 30 yards uh, and I have bottle cap down there. I'm gonna see if I can hit it. Uh, it is a Gatorade bottle cap, so a little bit of a bigger shot, but Hey, if I can hit it, I'll be happy because they just kind of try and side in this a little bit better. And so if I can hit it, that will be amazing. I'm just short. Right again. Okay. I did it. It's two arrows is all it took. Let's walk down there. 
and see. I mean, I did sight it in the bow, so I mean, it's not like it's like, ooh, first, first try. But I mean, at least hit something. I hit my other arrow. I don't know. Mm, nice. Almost got it. Right in the center. Hey, too bad of a shot. So, it's, there it is, right there. So, go. And you can see it's right in that corner. So, not too shabby. If I can do that tonight, the first arrow, little, little short, little to the the right, but I mean, to be able to two arrows and be able to pull them. I mean, the nice thing is like, even though it's not quite in it, I mean, there's still just a little bit of the arrow right on the inside. So yeah, <sighs> I'm feeling a lot more comfortable though, you know, taking and, you know, having the, I mean, that's <laughs> just pulled it out. It's not too bad of a, a shot. But, you know, I am feeling a lot more comfortable, you know, like at the beginning of today, uh, my, uh, my release was definitely pretty shoddy, you know. Uh, I definitely wasn't comfortable and I was not shooting where it needed to be. And that's a huge issue, you know, like one of the things that I fear the most is, you know, when I eventually go hunting, uh, I, I really want to make sure I take a clean ethical shot. You know, like I don't want to wound an animal. Uh, that would be the worst, you know? And the only way I can do that is if I practice, 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 and just keep shooting the way I know I'm supposed to be shooting, you know, like if I can always just take and do my best and learn and practice, and perfect a skill, uh, that is going to be a huge difference. But, you know, I, I think I've gone out on a clean note today. I'm going to pull through one more time. Actually, I'm going to go put that, the, I'm going to put the, cap it down there really fast and yeah we're gonna try it and see all right come on come on I got this I got this just gotta squeeze remember the technique okay Short again. It's barely underneath it. Oof. Not quite. Got it. Third time's a charm. But this is really just another episode of me just more focusing on form and technique and everything else, you know? Like, I'm not perfect by any means. Uh, I really do just want to get better, you know? This is the whole point of this channel. And so I hope today, uh, this has just been a learning opportunity for you to watch me hopefully figure out now that I'm not punching the trigger as much. It's been a few days since I've actually shot, so I just wanted to 
let you have this update. Uh, that night I went to the range and it was league night and I used the polter method. And the first time ever I was able to get uh, three arrows into the, the X. The X is on a three spot Vegas target and in one round i was so happy super ex you know just super excited and i just had a huge confidence boost but i really i will attribute it to this actual pull through follow through method you know i i really think that this was a really fun day for me to practice um and it really did boost my confidence so i hope you like this video if you haven't yet subscribe like i said this is just a channel of me uh learning archery again you know and really just taking the time to practice and try something new and get me ready for hunting season next year so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video uh please like comment and yeah this will be it so this is dylan i can't wait to see you next time and thanks for turning tuning in to late season hunter okay talk to you later guys bye